In this episode of Patreon, we continue our journey down the research tree and we uh, get things like stone houses and churches ready to go. Stay tuned! Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Patreon. Uh, and we are, let's speed things along as we continue to grow our little town. Our little fledgling town. Um, so we've got a little bit of everything going on thus far. Let's get, quickly have a look at what we're doing with research. What is this? Um, I think I've done the extras, but we don't actually need additional people. I've just built them here so that I don't... Um, um, uh, fill up that space but what are we missing over here um <clears throat> probably wheat is what we're missing if i have a look at it like that um <clears throat> under the food we can't actually see so we're probably missing wheat we can probably expand on that a little bit more let's have a look at what's going on with our research so we want to maintain a continuous steady stream of research we've got a fair bit of money there Basic budgeting, enacting this policy reduces the upkeep of apiaries, carpenter huts, pottery workshops and clay pits. So that, <clears throat> that's an option for us, certainly something worth getting, so let's uh, do that for the time being. What else would you like? A fishery, a big ranch, a medium fountain, a medium pond, you can fill in some of those as well. Deep mine, increases the production of coal mines if nearby an iron mine by 15%. I think that... Is actually quite useful because our coal mine is definitely near an iron mine okay that's good and we have fulfilled all of these upgrades so once that research is done we'll go ahead and do that research is done let's move on to the deep mine component over there and we'll probably need a little bit more iron um, in due course we're looking pretty good with regards to tools and we can probably sell a couple to be honest Let's uh, let's have a look at selling a few tools. Another research is done. Let's sell uh, a fair bit of tools. Yeah, do that. Right, get some more money in. That's pretty good. And then move on to the next piece of research. So research drafting reduces the time it takes to conduct research by thirty. Wow, we should have sort of, we should have led with that. <clears throat> well, not that we're uh, in too much of a hurry to get everything done. What is going on with our housing? We've got a couple of open houses av available over here, all been well insulated. We've got coal, we've got pretty much everything really. Um, food is not bad. Herbs is awesome. Let's uh, sell a bit of herbs. Uh, all of that, please, and make a trade. There we go. Looking pretty good. At some point, we can do some extra fisheries. What's going on? The King's Ransom. My Lord, the King's advisors have sent a list of requests. No official reason has been noted, only a list. Hmm, they're bleeding us dry, but we can't go against the king. I need a bit of stone. Uh, furniture will up our peasant and laborer loyalty. Which is not a bad thing. And then what is this side? The loyalty on uh, with regards to the merchants... And the gentry is pretty good. So I'm just going to go and pay for that. I, the stone I'm not bothered by. The furniture is a little bit much. But it's not the end of the world. We'll go ahead and, and get that all sorted. If I have a look at um, these. These stats over here. We're doing pretty well. The lowest stat at the moment is taxes. It's not likely that anyone likes taxes. But you should at least try to make them bearable. So at the moment everything is actually pretty good. People are loving it. Okay, let's uh, continue our move through here. <coughs> Cooperation increases the ranch production if near a field. Let's do that. We do have a ranch near a field. So it's good for us to continue to make a move there. If we go in here, can we highlight any of these other ones? Basic budgeting. Um, or basic goods. What does this give us? Basic upkeep minus 10%. I'm going to go ahead and enact that. Just to make sure we've got all that. Construction goods, production, food production up better. I think we're okay on that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and enact that. So we're actually using all of that at the moment. Excellent. More research done. 
<coughs> we'll grab the fishery for the time being. Now, let's start talking expansion. So if we take on our overlays over here, this is build grid. Let's look at the fertility. Okay. In terms of fertility, I should probably make better use of this general area over here. So let's put a few fields down. Um, and I'm kind of tempted to do the first little stretch as a road here. Yeah, this is a double, a dual road, right? Uh, another piece of research. Let's get another piece going, a big ranch. Um, uh, we're moving through this rapidly at the moment, but I think that's, that's probably fair enough. Um, what I want to do is make sure that we go the line through there and we bring the other one back through there. So now we've got a nice little roadway going straight the way through and we can put a few fields in here. Let's go ahead and do that. So a few fields. Actually, we're low on the orchard, so let's just get a few crop fields going on. We'll try and maximize some of these sizes here. And then what we'll do is, um, yeah, that's fine. I don't need any workers out there just yet. And um, <clears throat> now, shall we... Not too sure what some of these are, what we're going to do with some of these. So, if we do that, yeah, we can do a bit of an orchard in. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the plan. Let's try the field. If we try the field in here, yeah, the field just extends to up about that spot, that point. Let's do that. Let's get to another field in there, and then we'll put another. Um, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. 19 by 20. That's okay. We'll put that in there and we could potentially put a big ranch in there. I think that's uh, good for now. Let's get out of here. This is a toolsmith. That is where they're unloading stock over here. We can probably do another one up here. Let's just double check the fertility. Fertility is still running up over here. So I'm thinking maybe I'll add a bit of an orchard in here. That's pretty good in terms of fertility also. Okay, that's that's good. Now let's um, pop out of there and we'll get a few little pathways in here so people can, in fact, access these areas. Um, I'll get that pathway extended over there also to the top of the screen there, over here. Let's, um, let's extend this pathway a little bit. And then I'm kind of happy to say run one this way and we'll run one that way and we'll do a bit of a warehouse in this general location here. The royal tax increases. So the crown has endeavors um, all the globe. Yeah, 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 subject to help. So they want to put uh, additional tax on clothes. I don't think so. Let's go with this one. <coughs> We're struggling as is. We don't want to set that precedent. So if I go and flip this around and we place this guy right over here, I'm quite comfortable with that. So we can come back and go ahead and build some of that. Now, we should be able to um, start another wheat production over here. So let's go and get the wheat going in this one. And of course, what we'll need to do is add an extra farmer to the mix. So we'll get some wheat um, go growing over there. I'm also quite tempted to get another bit of a tree going on. Plums, plums maybe. So I believe we've got apples over here. So shall we do plums? I don't know. Let's have a look at what's going on with our research. Medium fountain, medium ponds. Gazebos, markets, we've got the market tariffs. Pollination increases the orchard production if near an apiary. That's not bad. Ooh, town hall. Let's do that. I think that provides us with a few upgrades. So we can clearly afford that. So let's go ahead and get the town hall research underway. And then I would like to trade out a few things if we can. The so clothing's not bad, coal's not bad, but I believe the winner at this point in time... Wow, fish is... Almost all of our food is fish. Uh, the winner at this point, I think, is going to be the tools. Yeah, let's uh, throw some tools away, and we'll do a bit of herbs as well. We can clearly do that. Get a bit of extra cash coming in. 
put some extra people over here. Once that research is done, we could potentially start working on another... Um, Oh, actually, the pig farm should be able to be workable. We've got sheep going on, and we've got chickens. Um, maybe we'll just add the pig farm. Let's get the pig farm going on. We'll buy some adult animals, a fair bit of them, and we'll make sure to add an extra worker over there. It's a farmer, right? Is it a farmer? Or is it something else? Herbalist, farmer... Who works here? Farmer. It is a farmer. So where am I? Why am I missing? Why am I needing an extra farmer? Feels awkward that we don't have a farmer working there. But where do they go about working? Is there... Why... So these are all workers associated with them. Can we just drop these, please? Can I just drop out the workers over here, please? There we go. Now it's up and running. So it's only those three that doesn't have anybody associated with it, and that's going to be just fine. I believe we've got the research finished. Okay, so now we can do some, enact some additional things over here. Propaganda increases loyalty. I'm not sure that's useful to us at this stage. Homeschooling. Hmm. Increases our education. So what does that, in fact, actually do? Overview. I don't actually see any of that. So education. It just, it's just a number. I don't think it actually does anything. Does it do anything? Don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Can we do any other trees now? Nothing yet. Let's go back into research and see if we can at some point get some additional um, types of orchard. Orchard seeds. Here it is. That gave us pear plums, and this is going to give us um, cherries and grapevines and peach trees. Let's get additional orchard seeds so we can start our extra orchard up over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the distillery is running out of wheat. So hopefully, well, we've already got, oh, no, no, that's oats. Ooh, we need to just be mindful that we may run out of oats. Can we have a quick look at what our oats production looks like? We've got a bit of oats available, so that's not to the end of the world if we uh, do that. Now, how's our population looking? We've still got some open homes over here. Yeah, okay, some more research done, so now we should be able to put in some... I'm kind of tempted to do grapevines. Let's go with grapevines, and we'll add an extra worker over there, and we'll add one over there, and now so we'll start getting the grapevines going. Nice. Next piece of research. Let's go back. Back fill a few of these. Medium fountains. Okay. So the name of the game at the moment is just to make sure, keep an eye on all of the things that we've got going and making sure that we are uh, maintaining a pretty decent um, spread. A good stock of everything. We are dropping on the firewood a little bit. So shall we have a look at our sawmill? Um, we can probably do a bit of an expansion over there. My lord, some of our more superstitious brothers and sisters are looking at the passing of solar eclipse as a bad omen. They're starting to cause some ruckus in the streets. It doesn't look like they plan to leave for their homes anytime soon. Give the preachers a small incentive to go there and disperse such unfounded beliefs. I think we can afford that. Um, I don't want to... Oh, actually, safety goes up. Happiness, what's that religion like? Almost full. Do we need more safety? No, we don't really. The drop in happiness is probably... Well, well. Keep the garrison. Let's do this. Let's up the safety. Safety at some point becomes a bit of a challenge to deal with. So let's do an extra expansion at the sawmill and add an extra woodcutter to the mix. 
Hopefully that uh, provides a little bit more. Make sure that this number stays nice and healthy. We should also maintain a good solid supply of food. These two should help that out a fair bit. Hey, do we have an apiary? Let me just have a quick look. I think so. This is an apiary, right? We do, in fact, have an apiary, and this is a candle shop. And we've got wool, and we're producing all of that. Do we have all of this expanded? Yes. Do we have all of this expanded? Yes. Okay. Well, not expanded in terms of workers, but um, upgraded. Fully upgraded is what I'm after. We could at some point do another distillery where we're actually providing some ciders. I think that would be good. Medium pond, candle shop, tariffs. Yeah, tariffs is probably one which we should start working on. <coughs> but when can we grow? Can we grow something else that's... Um, actually, do we have flowers being grown? We do. Tobacco. Let's go with tobacco. Make a move on the tobacco there. What is this? Last research project has ended. Let's get another one. Let's move on tariffs. Moving along. We need uh, to continuously expand our population. We still have some open houses over here. Now, if we are to start doing some more houses in this general area... Let's have a look at this. Yeah, this area is pretty good. So let's start another row of houses over here. What else do we have in here? We've got a market up there, right? Fully upgraded. Okay, yeah. Let's get another row of houses in here. Excellent. Pretty good little row. We'll probably do the other side also. These guys are building these up really quickly. And then we'll get another little pathway. And it seems to be pretty much winter. <clears throat> nice. Now let's uh, make, do our, make do of our upgrades. Get the insulation all sorted out. For whoever is moving in here at some point. That should be a pretty good extra supply of housing. Wow, we're really uh, building these up really quickly. Keep an eye on our lum lumber production as well. We should potentially look at a further expansion. That's the herbalist. This is the forester's hut. So the forester is, yeah, it's starting to drop a little bit. We've got another forester's hut over here. Um, and I'm tempted to do another one in here so that they all kind of work together. I think that is kind of a useful way of dealing with it. So if we go forester's hut, so it's currently saying the efficiency in this location would be pretty low. But I'm comfortable. We'll do another forester's hut over here. And they'll kind of all showcase uh, or help out one another in terms of the growth. Okay, let's go with the next piece of research. We'll get some duties enacted. Done all of these, right? Slowly make our way through everything. We can build a church almost. Yeah, probably should start looking at that. Food is looking awesome. Oh, the other one we could do. The king sends his regards. Coal, cider, and apples. So the other one we can do is we can just plant over here. So let's just do that. Let's just plant. We'll get this guy assigned and we'll just go and plant trees all the time over here. So this one will help support the, uh, the, 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 the cutting down at the others. So more research is done. Let's have another look. There's a lot to work our way through, ultimately. What is this? Oh, this is, allows us to move on to distillery of to distilling cider, which I think is one of our next steps that we're after, right? 
So tobacco will come in. Cider is actually up here, to be honest. So maybe we should rather start having a look at brandy. How would we do brandy? If we check the... Oh, I hate it when the snow is on because I can't find the mouse. There it is. So that's the clothes shop. This is the distillery. If I go down here, it can do brandy from... I don't know. But we can. that means we can do brandy already. So maybe another distillery is a, is a good idea. Up here somewhere where we have a little bit more room. <coughs> Something like that as a starting point. We could probably do another something else in there and do a distillery down in this general area. Yeah, that's probably better. Let's have a, another distillery pop in over here. Yeah, something like that. Then we'll leave a little bit of open space here, so a couple of trees and so, so on. Um, our population is again growing, which is good to see. Still a lot of empty houses, so we uh, have a fair bit of expanding to still do. Okay, let's have another look at our research. Let's uh, start doing that. At least we can uh, switch it over to cider at some point. Yeah, so our... Oof. We need our sawmill to be upgraded yet again. Let's do another round. Make sure we uh, we keep our, our stock uh, stocks well well and truly, our stocks of firewood well and truly up. At the moment, it's dropping. Though we can supplement with coal, which so we have a fallback. So it's not the end of the world as is as yet. It's probably starting to heat up a little bit now. Yeah, getting a little bit better. Lots of leather, iron, herbs. Oh, yeah, definitely sell some herbs. Dried herbs over there. Dried herbs over here. <coughs> Every bit helps. Okay, more of this going. So what kind of crops can we do? Let's get some pumpkins going. What do we have over here? Oats, wheat. Kind of tempted to have another look at seeing what's going on with our oats. Oats, yeah. Let's let's instead do oats. Let's go with oats. Uh, we've got a plague. Ensure containment. We cannot allow the plague to spread into the wider population. Whatever the cost, afflicted citizens expected not to survive. 23, my goodness. Close off the wider area and send all the medicines we can. Afflicted citizens expected not to survive. Four. That's a much better component. Let's go with oats over here. Up that number and we'll up those numbers over there. Good. Citizens are dying. Hopefully it's only the four. We need an extra carrier and now we kind of sort it out. Now, in terms of distilleries... Uh, we need plums for that, so cider it is going to be. Upgrade all of that, and let's get an extra distiller. And now we're starting to get a little close to the bone in terms of this population, and given that there's a few people that's probably going to die, we, uh, we need to just be mindful of some of this. Yeah, apple production should help us out with a little bit more cider um, coming into our merchant luxuries. Um, so tobacco will be in there. Brandy. We need plums to do brandy, though. Maybe another orchard for, for plums. Okay, go into research and have a look where we're at. <clears throat> market availability increases the happiness of laborers living near a market by plus uh, 0 0.1. Market toll in acting this policy increases income from the market by plus 20%, which is not a bad idea. Trade customs in acting this policy. Oh, we still have to enact the policy though. Acting the policy reduces the royal fee when conducting trade via the docks or the harbor, minus 15%. And then pollination increases the orchard production if nearby an apiary. That's not going to help us just yet. 
stone houses would be quite interesting for us, but also a church. Let's go with a church and start working towards getting a church up and running. We can certainly move a little bit more of the herbs. How much do we have in terms of um, furniture? Pottery, quite a lot. We can move a bit of pottery next time around. Yeah, so that's sl slowly starting to trickle in there. Probably taking up a little bit more space than I would have liked in there. So maybe I'm not going to continue to expand in this area just yet. <clears throat> Is that number upping a little bit? Not really. Oh, that's coming up quite a, night, quite, quite a lot. Okay, so now the church is done. Let's start working on the stone houses. We still have a fair bit of everything. Now, can we build a church? Let's have a look. Church? Yeah, that's a pretty nice one. If I put it here, which is a good spot. Yeah, we're not going to get... The nice, luxurious coverage that would have been nice. <clears throat> but a center of town like over here would be really awesome. I've only got... Ooh, that's not what I wanted. Can we get rid of these? Yeah, I think it should be fine. If we get rid of these and get the church in here. Let's do that. Let's get rid of them. We've got spare houses available, so it's not going to be the end of the world. Let's get rid of that. Ooh, unrest on the mainland? Okay. Sire, we received word, from, word of civil unrest on the mainland. The people there are writing, should we ignore or interfere? Send whatever we can forward uh, to the king. We remain loyal. I think we can afford that. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, now we've destroyed a few houses. Hopefully people have uh, found different houses available to them straight away. Now, can we find a nice little spot for the church in here? We can, but it will, we'll have to get rid of our uh, watchtower over here as well. So let's, um, let's do that. I think uh, a nice central location will ultimately give us the most benefit out of the church. So let's grab the church. Um, that's pretty much connecting up with everybody. We rotate it like this, actually towards the market. Something like that. Let's do that. It's going to be a nice central feature over here. Stone houses. We should be able to upgrade to stone houses now. Yeah, we can. Let's get our first stone houses upgraded over here. What does it cost, actually? Let's just have a look. So 80 coins, lumber 13 and 7 stone. Really, we'll be able to afford all of that. Then we can go on to two-story houses after that. Lots of upgrades that can be done in this game. People should be nice and happy. What does a stone house actually do? They don't actually tell us that it does anything. I'll have a look in the build menu now if we can find what it does. Nice. All of these are being upgraded nicely. They don't look that much different. So that's a wooden house, that's a stone house. Very little in terms of difference. Do I have houses up here? No, I do not. So that's it. How's our money going? Money not too bad. Stone is actually... Ooh, safety is down over here. Why? Upgrade all of this. Nice, looking good. I uh, probably need to bring that watchtower back if we can. So let's find a, a little spot for it over here. We'll do one watchtower over there and then we'll probably try and squeeze in another um, right over here somewhere. It's because we had one or two of these houses that's a little bit... Um, problematic so do a little something like that get a watchtower over there
<clears throat> good. Let's move a little bit of pottery. I believe we've got a fair bit. Yeah, there we go. Let's move some pottery. Gives us a little bit of money. We'll do two rounds of pottery moving. Nice. That uh, bumps up our cash flow a fair bit. Uh, ooh, I've closed this one down. Do I have another guard? How many guards do we need? Really? How many watchtowers do we have? Oh, I'm building one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're building two. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Now our numbers are getting a little bit low over there. Probably why the building is taking so long now. Guys, and I think that's kind of where we're going to end this episode. What's happening with our construction of our church? If we can just finish this one off. Oh, we don't have bricks. Oh my, oh my, oh my. So the church will have to wait until the next episode. So our Fletchling Town is growing quite substantially. Our population is up at 61 residents in total, I believe. More word from the king. Uh, no, we're definitely not going to... Oh, they just want some, some tobacco. Uh, we've got tobacco available. We'll, we'll go ahead and provide. We'll go ahead and provide. No, we will not, because we want the loyalty for merchants to go up a little bit. Let's do that. Okay, guys, that's where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, as always, please hit that like button. Tell me what you think of this game. Um, it's fairly relaxing to play, to be honest, but there's a lot to do. There's a lot to do, a lot to research. We're slowly making our way through it all. We've just upgraded most of our houses to stone. There's still a few more that needs to be upgraded over here and down this stretch over here. Um, we'll quickly finish that off. And so we, we have a nice, um, good and upgraded um, housing stock for all of our people when we start in the next episode when we'll get our brickworks going so that we can uh, end up building our church. But I'm still happy that I've got, uh, I've uh, located the space there for the church. Just going to look pretty nice over there. Okay, guys, thank you so much. As always, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.